Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the Huxworks Flow 556K Suppressor. So real quick, a little bit of background about the company. They used to be known as OSS. They've now rebranded to Huxworks. So they've really been the pioneers for low back pressure suppressors. And this is now the first 3D printed, like fully 3D printed suppressor they've made. This is a dedicated 556 suppressor. It's a K suppressor. So it's going to be short. It's just over five and a half inches in length. It's 11.8 ounces and it's fully 3D printed from 17.4 stainless steel. Full auto rated, pretty durable suppressor. The MSRP on it is gonna kind of vary a little bit. So MSRP, whether or not you get a muzzle device with your suppressor, you get that option. Uh, it's gonna be between like 12 to 1300 bucks, but the street price is gonna be nowhere close to that. If you go online, you can find pretty good deals. You know, it's a pretty popular suppressor. They're readily available. The muzzle brake comes with shims, so you can help time it. But the unique thing about the flash hider is, the flash hider doesn't come with any shims at all. That's just because when you put it on, it really doesn't matter what direction you put it in. So when you put it on your gun, you're gonna get some rock set, you're just gonna install it, then you're done. It, it, it's just the same direction all the way around. Let's go into what you get in the box. So this particular SKU does not come with a muzzle device pop the muzzle device separately so inside the box what you're going to get is going to be just literally the box and your owner's manual but again if you want a muzzle device with your suppressor you got options you can buy those let's talk about the mounts though the mount is pretty interesting and the mount is very simple so it's a pretty simple suppressor the mount is threaded it's literally threaded right into the body of the suppressor you got a brake as an option you got a flash hider as an option i'm going to pull a barrel here so I can show you guys. So you got threads on the muzzle device themselves, and then you got a taper. So when you fire the gun, interesting thing, you'll notice kind of like how the flash hider twirls. I don't know a better word for that, but twirls, we'll go with that. So when you fire the gun, it actually tightens the muzzle device onto the barrel, you know, so it's threaded right hand, but the suppressor is actually threaded left hand. So when you fire the gun, muzzle device is gonna tighten right, but when you put the suppressor on, you're gonna turn left hand. Cool thing about the suppressor too though, is that when you fire the gun, the gases as they leave the muzzle are gonna tighten the suppressor. So you'll notice here, you don't have any sort of collar. There's no locking mechanism or anything. So when you fire the gun, literally just firing the gun is gonna be the mechanism that keeps the suppressor on the gun. You know, and that taper is gonna help too. And then you'll notice that if the suppressor ever gets stuck, which does happen on occasion, the base has wrench flats, you know? So if you ever really need to, you got wrench flats on the muzzle device, and then let's just say your suppressor's stuck, and you can just take a wrench and use those wrench flats and take the suppressor right off. A few minutes later. All right, so cool, we are now back. We got the Flow 556K. We're gonna fire 100 rounds on suppress, throw it on, and fire another 100 rounds. guys we don't have any sponsors here all this is funded directly by y'all if you like this kind of testing best way to keep it going go to rooftopdefense.com buy some gun parts let me feed you like sub hit the comment section go batshit crazy five minutes later